guys um, welcome back to our channel our first video after our long break mm -hmm. and today we're going to be talking about what it's like to be black and living in germany, germany. yeah i've seen like a couple of videos on youtube a few videos on youtube actually same topic of yeah. how we black people feel in germany and we're not here to bash yeah, germans yeah. or to say anything negative about germans <laughs> So if any Germans watch our videos, it's not it's not meant to bash you guys. It's not, it's not meant to be offensive. Yeah. It's just experience, exactly. our experiences and how we found it. Because we've been living here for a year almost, and a half, yeah. almost two years almost two now. Years. So yeah, we quite know. We've experienced. We've been in the system mm -hmm. to know how yeah. it is to be black in Germany. Yeah. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay. With when you first come here and you don't know the language. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. Like language communication is, it's it's a problem. Yes, yeah, so number one. Yeah, language. that's number one is language. Like Germans typically don't speak English. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. So, uh, if and even if they do, I feel like some of them just don't want yeah, to speak I, English. Yeah, I also feel the same. I feel they uh, know they know yeah. how to speak English, but they just <laughs> no, don't want to speak English. just be like no. Nah. I would rather not I, speak I'd English. Not. I don't know how to speak. Exactly. When, when you know, because they do learn it in yeah. school, even for like a year or two years or something. So they know basics. They just. And I feel like most of them English. understand English. Yeah. But they just understand. They know. They feel. I they just want to speak. To, yeah, I want to speak my speak language. It. So. I mean, patriotic. in the beginning it was hard. It was hard in the beginning when we first came here. Yeah. And our language skills were super, mm -hmm. like super bad. Now it's better, but we're still not like. A1 or whatever like super good mm -hmm. so it's still hard sometimes when you need help and you know the older Germans usually I feel like they don't like to, they, they, they don't, don't want English. they don't want they just mm -hmm. like nah they don't want nah I don't I can't hear anything you're saying sorry can't help you so yeah language has definitely been a big factor staying mm -hmm. here but you know we've learned the language it's getting easier I think with time it easier, easier, get with easier time, with yeah. time but because in most formal settings, you can't speak English. Uh -huh. They want you to speak German. Uh -huh. Imagine if you're trying to get your visa fixed and you, you're like, um, uh, uh, if you're trying to, if you're trying to get a job, yeah, every, literally everywhere. Is and then your German, German is like, you know, literally everywhere, everything. Yeah, shops, train stations. Well, train stations, I think they. They, they try, have, they, they try. try. Even the guards sometimes they try yeah. to speak English. But like, if you're in a supermarket, nothing is written in English. Yeah. Literally everything. TV. Oh yeah. TV has no. I never watch TV. <laughs> I, on I, on I Netflix twenty four seven. <laughs> TV I haven't even tried because literally it's just ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> it's terrible. I can't hear. Anything. And the way they speak as well, yeah. they speak so fast. Mm -hmm. So it's not the same as how you learn in language school where they like mm -hmm, talk exactly. really slow. It's, in real life, it's like oh okay, just yeah. keep going. Can't hear anything. Language so is a big factor. It's been a big factor. Language right? has been a big factor. Mm -hmm. But I find that where I'm staying now, they they cater for English as well. Because I looked up um, English speaking churches, and there are a lot of English speaking churches there. I think because maybe because there, there's also a large number of Americans that stay there. So, so it's a city with the it's a city where American army base. Yeah, yeah exactly. Army base there. So. They kind of cater for English, and you can hear like when you're walking, you can hear people speaking English yeah. and whatnot. So, and like in Frankfurt, mm. oh, Frankfurt people, Frankfurters do not speak English mm. like that. They don't speak English at yeah. all. They don't like to speak English. I feel like like in Cologne is better. In Berlin, mm. in Berlin, English. I'm sure in Berlin they speak English. In Frankfurt, no, they don't. They don't cater to us like that. They don't do that. They don't do that. Yeah. So number one, English, English. language. No, Deutsch. Yeah. German language. In language in general. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Number two. Racism. Racism. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, racism is there. I have, she has experienced racism. I have experienced racism. I haven't racism. had an actual experience with it. But, I mean, I know it's there. I just know that, they you know, they stare at us. They look at us more, more than they would stare at somebody else. Like, if you hop onto the train or mm -hmm. something, they'll be like, Looking at you like, oh, funny, like, mm -hmm. what is she doing here? Is she, she good? Is she bad? You know, they don't really know your intentions and they get nervous. Like, yeah, I feel like they kind of get nervous yeah, about black or people. Yeah, scared. Like, yeah, they yeah. just, but they, yeah. 
hold back okay, yeah, exactly yeah, when so. they see the, when they see a black person especially i feel like if you're like a group oh, of yeah. black people like ooh, yeah. what are you doing yeah. here There's too many of you one time what are you doing here but yeah, yeah. i haven't ex actually experienced racism like in that form like mm -hmm. to say oh you're black you don't get this mm -hmm. or you're black just the fact that they stare at you funny and you know people just be like Kids also stare because I like, feel like kids don't really understand uh -huh. why is this girl different from yeah. me. And they'll be like, mommy, mommy why is her you know? skin color different yeah. from mine? So it's, yeah. it's, I guess maybe it's almost like curiosity because uh -huh. there are not that many black people here. So when we they do see us, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to look at you. I don't know. What are you doing yeah, here? What are why? you about? Yeah. And sometimes we have different hair. Uh -huh. And then they're like, oh, but her hair is uh -huh. like, you know, I feel like they just don't understand us yeah. so it's kind of difficult then for them to like you know yeah i'll touch on my like directors with... racism that i experienced i went to like a job fair thingy for like different companies and stuff so they have like a day where companies exhibit and all those kind of things for students and potential employees and stuff like that so i went there and i was the only black person so imagine in a hall and you're the only black person already you feel mm -hmm. it's too much for me but i was like you know what let me go there but that wasn't the experience i got like i even ended up crying because it was that much like you go to a table you want to ask you want to get to know like what's the company about and stuff like that they wouldn't talk to you you know how they're like oh so welcome to our table this is blah 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 and then you see a white person behind me they'll go to that white person and start talking to that white person like what like mm -hmm. so you yeah. think we're not fit like why are you being so racist and it was terrible i ended up crying i i left the place i even i think i even saw one guy who was talking to his mom and like pointing at me it's like why why do you have to even make it so obvious yeah. my skin is just darker than yours mm -hmm. doesn't mean that i'm less intelligent than you yeah, yeah. so it was really painful it was really painful and yeah i think that's that's like the most big racist experience that i've had so far mm. yeah it was bad i didn't like it i didn't like it and yeah like she said the whole like if we're in train stations and stuff we're just i think they just feel like blacks are here to destroy Legs, I don't feel I like all of them so, think that. Not all of them. Because the, I feel like the problem why they feel that way is because mm. now there's this thing of the, ref the refugees are coming in. Yeah. And they can't tell the difference between African ref like Af black refugees and yeah. black people who are genuinely coming here. Because yeah. I have a German friend who was telling me that most Germans are scared because like they don't know whether you're like apparently some of the refugees mm. become like thieves yeah, and they mug exactly. you and stuff so they can't tell the difference anymore between refugee and a genuine person who mm -hmm. came here on a visa and looking for a job mm -hmm. and you know like someone who's got a straight mm -hmm. path straight yeah. so they get confused now because there's a whole lot of black people coming in mm -hmm. and i guess I, it makes sense that they get scared because they can't tell the difference yeah and i feel like them. slowly but surely the influx of black people is like increasing yeah, yeah. so dark or whatever and yeah, number three for me would be our hair, you guys. Our hair. I don't think this is a our thing. hair. <laughs> they don't understand that we need to always change our hair. We can't just keep one hairdo for forever. They don't understand nappy hair. Like, what is say? we don't hair we don't understand why they just stay with that one. But hair. also, That's like. Same. Hey, I also don't understand why they keep one hairstyle, but they, they, they feel like, they look at you like, why do you always have to change your hair? Getting hair products also is like long. I feel like on the hair part, there are shops, like um, African shops that sell hair and stuff, but then there's not a wide variety of hair options. And also like if the options are there, they become a bit expensive. So you'd rather like if someone goes back home and you need a certain type of hair, rather tell them, can you please bring me this type of hair because I can't find it here. Or if I can find it, it's expensive. So I feel like it's on that part, it's hard to find the right type of 
hair that you want and yeah, for me i'll expensive. say it's the, the hair part is only hard with the hairdressers yeah like that that's the only, like i feel like finding hair is not that difficult but finding someone who can actually do your hair properly uh-huh. is hard because most of the hairdressers like i've been to the salons where they have like regular people doing hair who have no experience, experience. and stuff yeah. because you're here, you're African, you're looking for a job. You're just going and to then, say, I do hair. Yeah, you're going to go when to an African salon and say, yeah. can I be of a job? I know how to do hair. Uh-huh. You have no experience. And uh-huh. then I go there, I'm, I'm expecting. I, I, I show you a picture and I'm like, I want this. I come out, it comes out sideways. <laughs> so I feel like they just they just hire anybody. Really. Uh-huh. Whoever says I can do hair, okay, you, you're, you're hired. Yeah. And then we're expecting quality hairdressers. And then we get like terrible... You know, so and if, if you try to go to a white salon, they can't. Yeah, they, they don't can't. Know they don't know how to handle hair. black hair. They don't know how, they how, they know how to handle nappy coarse, yeah, whatnot. Right. They, they don't know. So they it's don't hard. know how to braid anyway. Yeah, so exactly. You want braids? Know how to, like, they don't know how to braid. They only know how to trim, and straighten and blow dry. Like yeah. our hair needs a lot of work. And then I think number four will be also makeup. Like I don't think this one's a reason to. Girl, <laughs> makeup. You just go to the African store. Make up. Drug stores. They have drug stores. That's a good thing. They have drug stores. But the darkest shade. I'll try it and set a picture. Bruh. They have of the darkest person they think is dark. Yeah, it's like a tan. Wow. Like Black. So it's very difficult to find like makeup for us brown skin girls. Like. I found I had to get my makeup in the UK. When it finishes, I don't even know what to do. I get my makeup on the American base. Maybe I would have to do the they same have, thing. But them. then they have different brands. They have like CoverGirl and whatnot. Then I use something else and I can't find it. Yeah. just have to settle for something because it's my skin color when it's not the same thing that I want. So if you find makeup, it's expensive because they have a makeup shop that sells like really like high-end makeup that's very 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 expensive so that part really is hard for us you just want like a basic drugstore l'oreal that's not going to cost you a lot you can't find your skin color mm-hmm. and it's very very difficult and they can't they i don't know where i don't know where people go maybe in berlin i don't know but I can't travel six hours to go to like Berlin. You can find it in all action shops. It might be pricey, but it's there. The so that's the thing. Shops. Do I want to pay a lot to find maybe something that's not even my brand of makeup that I'm regularly using? We end up settling because that's the only thing that's there. Yet that's not what you, that's not what you want to use. So that is a factor when you are black in Germany. Especially all those girls. I don't know for guys. I don't know what experiences guys have being black in Germany. But for girls, yeah, it's 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 hard. Number five is dating. dating. <laughs> Y'all, it's hard dating in Germany. It's hard. Like I don't know. Yeah. It's hard. Dating the German guys. They like we said already in racism, like they feel like, oh, what do you... But not all of them. It's hard. I know a German guy. It's hard. Wink, wink. <laughs> it's hard for them to <laughs> wink, wink. Oh my gosh. I know a German guy. <laughs> it's hard for them. It's like, you can pick out, out, out of five guys, you can find one that's open. I feel like one that, those ones that are open, have traveled the world. Yes, exposed Are more to, open-minded. Exposed to different cultures. A typical like German guy could never approach a black girl. It's and also maybe not because of the racism part, just because of fear. Yeah. They don't know how to approach black girls. They don't know what to say. What are they going to get them to say? Like that guy, uh, the friend of yours, he just seems very unconfident. Sometimes it just feels like they don't have that confidence of like, oh, black girls are different. They think we're so different from regular girls that they can't approach us. It's uh-huh. like they have to have some kind of strength yeah. to come to a black girl and say, If hey, you like up? go on the train or whatever and... They look at you, yeah, and they smile, and then they, and they, and then they, look they whisper. Away. Like if they're a group, they whisper to they, themselves. Exactly. Then they look away. They'll they never, they'll never, they'll never approach you. 
So and only maybe when they're drunk mm-hmm. do they get brave mm-hmm. enough to be like, hey, you know. But sober German guys never. And never. so, so it, it becomes like really hard, like. If you're looking into dating like a white person or whatever, or if your preference is white, mm-hmm. it's hard. And then if you're also in areas where there are not like a lot of black people, yeah. whether African or all black American men, wow, <laughs> you're yeah. you're going. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to be single. <laughs> like <laughs> you're going to be single, honey, because it's hard. Yeah, it's really really hard meeting. I feel like meeting, I'm sorry for the German guys that are going to see this, but I feel like a Ger- most German guys just want black girl experience. Oh, I tapped that. That was black. And I did that. And I'm done with it. And then they go to there. And they always have a funny, oh, my girlfriend came back story. <laughs> Those are like, yeah. So, yeah, if. You, you're looking at all those black girls looking into dating German guys. I don't know what you need to do. Try and approach them. I don't know. Nah. I don't know how. You how find it one eventually. Who likes I don't know them. how those girls that have married German guys. I guess it's those guys that have traveled. Hi guys. Okay, so the camera died yep. while we were still talking about the dating part. But I think you guys get the gist. Oh, what is it? Just do they know just as? Mm-hmm. You get the graft of it. You get how it works. <laughs> get, <laughs> get the idea. idea. Get the idea. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. Get the idea of how it is being mm-hmm. black in Germany. Black in Germany. And so yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Mm-hmm. We hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment on our video. Yeah, and don't forget the five hundred subscriber point that we're gonna do a giveaway. Mm-hmm. So yeah, continue watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.